Hello friends, welcome back to our series Math for Machine Learning and today we'll, we are going to look into the rules of probability. Okay, so the first rule says any event and the possibility of that event to occur should lie between 0 and 1. So, for example, we saw in our previous video that the probability of getting two tails is equal to 3 over 8. So, that means it is between 0 and 1. All right. So, what does it mean to be 0? That means that the probability of getting two tails all the time has no chance. That means, it is not appearing even at once that is 0. And if it is getting 1, that means whenever we flip the three coins, we always get two tails. Okay. All right. So, this is the first rule. The second rule says that whenever we flip uh, three coins, um, we should at least get a head or a tail or a tail and we saw there are eight such com, uh, com possible outcomes. right? So, what I mean to say is whenever you do something, you are supposed to get some output. Okay? That means, when I flip a coin, I should either get a head or a tail, but it will never happen or will not consider those scenarios where the, uh, you know, the coin has flipped, but it landed in the middle and it just stood on the ground it gives you neither uh, head or a tail we are not considering those cases okay so all, all we are only considering cases where uh, we get either head or tail so that means um, you know something must always happen or occur as that's the second uh, rules of probability the third rule says that uh, if we have two independent uh, you know uh, out outcome or an event, then the probability, the combined probability of them is equal to the sum of the individual probabilities. So, what I mean by that is, so if I flip a coin, I am flipping one coin. So, what is the probability that I will get a head if I repeat my experiment? And it has been observed that the probability of getting a head is 50 percent, right, or half. And similarly, the probability of getting a tail is also half because they both are uh, equally likely to occur right so what i mean to say is so what is the co uh, probability of you getting head or a tail is nothing but the probability of getting a head plus probability of getting a tail so that means half plus half equal to 1 so i hope this definition is clear so i'm saying I have two events that could occur whenever I flip a coin. So, I can get either a head or I can get a tail, but of course, when I am doing this, when I get a head, that time I did not get a tail and when I got a head tail, I did not get a head. So, if I sum the combination of these two, that the probability of getting a, a head or a tail is nothing but the probability of getting a head and the probability of getting a tail, so which is half plus half is equal to 1. So, these are the three rules that we should keep in mind for probability. So, I hope you have learned something new today and these concepts will become further clear as we look into the uh, you know, more concepts as we move ahead. So, till then have a great day and please subscribe to our channel.